out there to do the things that I wanted to do, and that person is John Branningham. <laughs> sitting over there uh, no, inside that one. That's what I'm getting to. I'm calling this person a son here, but you don't know because I'm sexist. I'm using the male thing. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're just a, a, we're just assuming. So that, that that that's what. And the other disclaimer is this: I've got a lot of really uh, 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 slanderous words in here, and then they're looking around, and there's there's like uh, a lot of people with virgin ears, like Roy over here. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna like uh, when it looks like I'm gonna curse, I'm, I'm gonna stop myself. <laughs> I'll say it really loudly, yeah, yeah. And uh, okay, this is called the butterfly effect. Yeah, yeah. Ashton Kutcher. I, I overhear someone who's describing the butterfly effect or chaos theory, which is the idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in Kansas begins the chain reaction of events that builds and builds until it eventually starts a typhoon in the South China Sea. One large enough to take out cities, ruin roads, destroy lives, kill people. A typhoon that will require humanitarian aid from countries that are generally China's enemies. One that will bring a reevaluation of the way we all think of China, even the most nationalistic of us. One that will cause the most religious of us to wonder what God is doing up there and why he chose this particular form of retribution. All of that from the wings of a tiny butterfly sitting on a rose petal in Kansas. And all I can think is, why are these doomsday butterflies such bad people. <laughs> Hasn't China suffered enough? Aren't the poverty and overpopulation and earthquakes and Maoists and English invaders and Japanese invaders and all the rest they've had to suffer through sufficient cosmic punishment for whatever karmic sin they've committed? Shouldn't they really have to, should they really have to put up with butterflies hell-bent on chaos and pain? <laughs> and come to think of it, haven't we all suffered enough? Isn't there enough intolerance and disease to go around that we don't need chaos, chaos insects to ruin everything up? <laughs> I, think of, I think of Sammy. That's either Samuel or Samantha. I think of Sammy, in my, my child who's coming into the world in a few months. And frankly, I don't want him or her to deal with the, with the, with the doom butterflies uh, of hurricanes, or the doom butterfly of pestilence, or war, or anger, or poverty. I don't want them to deal with the butterflies bent on racism, or sexism, or dog fighting. And if I were a different kind of man, I would march down to my closest Monsanto wholesaler, and I'd write a check for the biggest vat of butter, butterfly insecticide that I could find. And I'd get a giant atom, a, atomizer that I could put in the back of my truck, and I would drive the back road of Kansas like a deranged Johnny Appleseed, <laughs> taking all, out all the doomsday butterflies out, like, and I would do it without fear or guilt, but only approbation and well-deserved thanks from the entire Chinese nation and from Sammy as well. And when I ran out of butterfly spray, I would walk the fields of Kansas, stamping out any butterflies I happened upon. The butterfly of greed. The butterfly of bad grammar. The butterfly, <laughs> the, the yeah. butterfly Yes. The butterfly of despair. That's not who I am. And that's not exactly what I want. What I want is for Sammy to understand that he can kill butterflies. <laughs> After all, this is his world now, or her world. And if I take out all the chaos butterflies, in 20 years he'll have to, he'll have to face the crickets of mass destruction. <laughs> or, or the ladybugs of apathy. And he won't have any idea how to, how, to, how to deal with them. What I want is for him to be bitten by the mosquito of hope and joy and wisdom until their disease grows inside my son or daughter and he sees how, how possible it is for him to be the one who can conquer, conquer the butterflies of penury and jealousy. I want to 
watch him become a grown man or woman who corners the chaos butterflies of pointless hatred, hate, hatreds and wrestles it down to the ground and pulls out and eats its still beating heart before its quickly fading eyes. <laughs> because he'll tell you, he'll tell you and I'll tell you right now that anybody that has went up to him and has tried to publish their, their poetry, their short fiction, has done it. This man has a 100% success rate. Awesome. We're getting awesome. students published, so if you're trying to get published, you can do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! I'm just kidding. Okay. Love you, man. <laughs> okay, my next poet. My next poet I know so little about, but I can tell you I know so much about her. This woman, she'll ask you about your day. She doesn't really want to know about the good.